Today we're going to be going over the Kendrix extrication device, or KED, for spinal mobilization on a seated patient. BSI Pinman, I'm going to delegate my partner to hold manual stabilization of the head. Okay, now I'm going to uh, do my PMSCs. Pulse, can we get your fingers for me? What finger am I touching? Thumb. What finger am I touching? Thumb. And capillary refill. You gotta do the same on the feet, of course, having the shoes off. Pulse, wiggle your toes for me. What toe am I touching? Toe what toe am I touching? Cap refill. Now I'm going to assess all the places I've got to cover. So head, I'm looking for decap BLS, and I'm looking for blood on gloves. Uh, that's gonna be deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, penetrations, burns, lacerations, swelling. Going to the neck, observing for decap BLS, looking for tracheal deviation, jugular vein distension, stoma, medical alert tags, and subcutaneous emphysema. Also palpating the back of the neck for any step off, point tenderness, and blood on glove. I'm going to size and place my C-collar. Now I'm going to the chest, observing for decap BLS, sucking chest wound, flail segment, paradoxal motion, and any impelled objects. Now palpate, anterior, posterior, lateral to medial, checking for tick, which is tenderness, instability, creptus, and I've got to reassess my lung sounds. I'm going to the abdomen, I'm observing for decap BLS and any evisceration. I've got to look for tenderness, rigidity, distension, guarding, hot belly, and pulsating masses, which is indicative of a AAA or abdominal aortic aneurysm. Now that that is secure, I'm going to uh, get my CAD device over to my partner and prepare to tilt the patient forward. Okay, I'm gonna go on head man's count and <coughs> tilt the patient forward. One, two, three. Okay, now my partner is going to grab the CAD and place it on the device. While he's doing that, I'm observing the back for decap BLS, uh, step off, point tenderness, and spinal alignment. I'm also observing the back of the chest for any sucking chest wounds, paradoxal movement, uh, foil segments, and any impaled objects. Okay, now that that's secure, partner's got to resume C spine. You got to tilt back on head man's count. One, two, three. Okay, patient's now back. We're going to get these down. You have to make sure that the head is sucked up into the patient's armpits. Okay. And we fill any voids. Okay. Now I'm going to connect my straps, leaving my top strap undone. You can use the acronym my baby looks hot tonight for middle, bottom, legs, head, top for your tightening order. When tightening, you feed and pull. Okay, securing the head. Okay, partner is now relieved of uh, holding C-spine. Make sure you know. Okay, now we tighten the top strap last. You take a deep breath and hold it for me. Okay. 
Okay, now a patient is fully secured to the cat. We're going to assess PMSCs. Pulse, wiggle your fingers for me. What finger am I touching? Thumb. What finger am I touching? Thumb. And capillary refill. Got to repeat the same on the feet for pulse. Wiggle your toes. What toe am I touching? What toe am I touching? And cap refill. We're going to move the, the patient onto the board. Maintaining proper lifting technique and interlocking arms. One, two, three. Okay, before you lower the legs, you want to undo the leg straps and gently lower the legs down onto the board. Okay, and loosen the top strap. We're then going to secure the patient to the board. I want to make sure the D ring is not on the center of the chest. Okay. Get all slack out, feeding and pulling. Let me take a deep breath for me. Okay. Now you can relax. And feed and pull. We're going to uh, reassess PMS PMSCs because patient is fully secured to the board. They do not have to do head blocks because the, the patient is Velcroed to the head bed. Pulse, wiggle your fingers for me. What finger am I touching? What finger am I touching? And capillary refill. Repeat the same on the feet for pulse. Wiggle your toes. What toe am I touching? What toe am I touching? Cap refill. Now you're done.